Assure offers a choice of five different discount coupons to its customers, described as follows. And so, coupon A, flat discount of 250 on a minimum spend of 1200 in one transaction. And so, this reminds me of some gift coupon I won. They gave me coupons of, uh, of some 100 bucks per transaction on a minimum spend of 500, but 10 such coupons. They made it very clear that the minimum spend of 500 should have been after I went to the store. Minimum spend of 500 should be in some specific categories and the coupons could not be banked on the same day. I tried and then I said, look, you can have all of this. You take this and shove it. I'm never coming to your shop again. And so annoying, annoying coupon system. You give a coupon, you give it off. Be done with it. Don't say you should come on every Thursday and buy only one pair of socks, but one half you'll get this Thursday, another half I'll get next Thursday. Pain in the neck. And anyway, I'm ranting. Let me go back to this. Flat discount of 250, minimum spend of 1200. 15% discount on a minimum spend of 500 in one transaction up to a maximum discount of 300 or you could buy for 2000 rupees and get 300 rupees off but not more than 300 rupees off. Like one of those swiggy somato thingies. A flat discount of 100 on a minimum spend of 600. A 10% discount on a minimum spend of 250 in one transaction up to a maximum discount of 100. Here's 15%. Here's only 10%, but the minimum spend is 250. So if you spend for 260 bucks, you'll probably go for this. If you're spending 500 or more, you'll go for that. Right. A flat discount of 50 on a minimum spend of 200 in one transaction, 50 on a minimum spend of 200. So if you're spending 200 bucks, this is very good, 25% off, a lot of money, a lot of big percentage. I'm interested in this. This is 10%, this is 15%, but this is 25%. Nice. If you're spending exactly 200. The customers are allowed to use at most one coupon in one transaction. Two or more coupons cannot be combined for the same transaction. That's understandable. Typical rules. Right? I've just captured everything. Put this in a system. You get 250 off. Minimum transaction is 1200. No maximum discount because it's a flat number. You get 250 off. You get 100 off. No max discount. Minimum 600 rupees spent. 50 off. Minimum 200. No max discount. The percentage things have a cap on them. 15% minimum transaction is 500, discount is 300. 10% minimum transaction is 250, maximum discount is 100. Nice. Four customers use four different discount coupons for their respective transactions. In such a way, they obtained a total discount of 710. Which coupon was not used? Nice. First of all, I thought 710 would be lots of combination. They are not. This is 250. This is 100. This is 50. You add these three, it comes to 400. The maximum possible discount here is 300 and here is 100. So the maximum you can avail is 800. Maximum possible discount is only 800 bucks. 250 plus 100, 350 plus 50, 400. 300 plus 100 is 400. And you are obtaining 710. You can't get 710 without getting this 250, without getting this 100, those two are in. And so what are definitely in, this fellow is in, this fellow is in. Okay. The minimum discount possible is 150 here, 15% of 500, which is, sorry, 15% of 500, 75 bucks. So that is possible. Can we do without doing this? Can we do with the remaining? Let's say we take these three, 250 plus 100, 350 plus 50, 400. Plus 300 is not sufficient, plus 100 is not sufficient. So if I take all three of them and leave out one of these two, then with these three, I get 400 bucks. Only one of those two to give me 310 rupees, not possible. So I cannot use all three of them up. So I have to leave out one of these three. I know therefore that I have to use these two. Which coupon am I not using? That is bugger. So I'm using these two, getting 350 bucks. With these two, I have to get 360. I can either do a hundred buck here and a 260 here, or a 300 buck here and a 60 buck here. Both are possible. Both combinations will work for some combination, some method. So 710 is possible if you skip out E. Anything else you skip out is not possible at all. Four customers use four different discount coupons for their respective transaction in such a way that nobody used any discount coupon suboptimally. Nice. 
A discount coupon is used suboptimally if using another discount coupon could have resulted in a higher discount for the same transaction. Very nice. Very interesting. Very interesting idea. And so, what is the maximum combined spend before application of any discount? And so, suppose you're spending the minimum transaction value is 200. If you spend 200 bucks, then this is the one to take. 200 bucks, you'll get 50 rupees off. You go to 250, this kicks in, but you'll get only 10% of the 25 rupees off. Even beyond 250, this is better. The next stop is at 500. So at 500 rupees, you'll get 50 rupees off. But at 500 rupees, here also you get 50 rupees off. So I'm going to say 200 to 499, the best coupon is E. At 500 rupees, E and D get the same 50 rupee off. At 500 rupees, this fellow gives me 75 bucks off. So I'll say 500 KL, I'll not go for this. So from 500 to 600 to 599 maybe, this fellow is better. Coupon B is better. 500 to 599, coupon B is better. Nice. Because it's 15%, you get 75 bucks off. Here you'll get only 50 bucks off. Coupon B is better from 500 to 599. The moment you hit 600, 100 rupees is better, 16.67%. Somewhere 100 rupees will become less than that. So 600 to 100 by 15 percent, which is 20 by 3, 667 rupees. C is better, 600 to 667, 660 C is better and then 667 upwards, the 15 percent goes to 100 bucks. That fellow is better till 1200, at 1200, 15% of 1200 is uh, 180. So at 1199 till here, B is better. 1200 to some number, A is better. And then this guy will come back in. Finally, this is the only get 250. Somewhere 250 will get crossed and we'll be back to this. And so E is very good for the low ranges. Then B, then C, back to B, then A. Very interesting where it happens. But if you look at this on a percentage basis, this guy is letting people down. 10%, this is 15, this is 16.67, that is high. This is 25%. So if you notice this, then C is not the best coupon in, D is not the best coupon in any range. 200 to 499, this guy is good. 500 upward, that guy is good. At 10% and capped off at 100, nowhere is he good. The moment it crosses 500, 15% is more than 10%. So D is a useless coupon. So I want to maximize, I have four different coupons. We should all be using A, B, C, E. The coupons we should be using are A, B, C, E. The best coupon you can get at A is 250 at a price of 1200. So you buy for 1200. Best for C is 100 rupees. You should be buying for 600. That's when you're using it not suboptimal. You're using it optimally. Right. And then for E, you should be buying exactly 200. And so, of any discount, what is the minimum combined spend before application of any discount? These three, I'm clear, 2000 bucks. And then for B, the optimum thing is the minimum transaction value, 500 bucks. You get 15%, you're happy with that. You're using it optimally the best case scenario because the others you're getting a juicier discount than this 15 percent and so this is 25 percent this is 16.67 percent this is also a good percent so at 500 you say enough of that so your total purchase should have been 1200 500 600 200 these three added up 2000 plus 500 2500 a little concerned about this question i said look b you get 15 percent off you're using it but whether you buy for 500 or 550 or 600, it's 15% off. I'm not not using it suboptimally. I'm still optimally using it. If I buy for 600, still B is the best coupon. And you're optimally using it. You're not suboptimal in your, in your algorithm. But at 500 is the best. Beyond that, even though this stays at 15%, your overall percentage discount will come down because these are all juicier than 15%. And so 2500 is the purchase.
My family wanted to purchase four products worth rupees 1000 each and another product worth rupees 300. They were told that they could pay for the five products through one or more transactions in any way they wanted as long as the purchase amount of any product would not get split into different transactions. Buy a thousand rupee product. You can say, look, I'll bill it with coupon A or coupon B or C or D or E. You cannot say I'll take 200 bucks for E, 600 bucks for C. That's not possible. I mean, 200, 200, 600, that's not possible. You cannot split across. The 1000 buck product has to be the 1000 buck product. You cannot partition it into different things. And so you can get a maximum of five coupons here. Use the same discount coupon repeatedly for separate transactions if they opt for more than one transaction. That is fine. So if you're buying not at, you can club, you can say I'm buying a 2000 rupee product and get this coupon and get that discount. Nice, all done. 2000 rupee product will get 300 bucks off. Nice, good deal. But uh, do you, whether you want to do that, that's left to you. But you can have only one transaction and get, 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 get a good deal with that. And nice, nice. Okay, okay. Use the same discount coupon repeatedly. I'm going to say for the 300 buck product, the best coupon is E. So E could be applied for the 300 buck product. The 1000 buck product, this is ruled out. 1000 buck, you'll get 150 bucks here. You'll get 100 here. This is ruled out. D is useless. So I'm not using D anywhere. B is better than C. B will give us 150 bucks for product. If I double it and take it 2000 rupee product, put two of them together, I'll still get the same 300. I put a 2000 rupee product, bill it here, I'll get only 250. 300 is better. Might as well do 1000, 1000, 1000. For the 300 wala, get this 50 bucks. For 300, this is better. It's the best deal. 150 into 4, 600 plus 50, 650 we can go to, which is nice, except we've been told that we can, any product would not get split to one or more transactions. We can clump products. I'm right, buying four things for 1000 and one for 300. I want to know if I can buy a bunch of 1000 and 300 together and get this guy interested. So put 1300 here, ignore E and put 1000 into 3 here. For 1300 fellow, we'll get 250. 150 into 3, 450. Adding up to 700. In the previous combo, we got 150 into 4, 600. Plus 50, 650. Here we're getting 700 bucks off for the same combination. This is what we should go for. 1000 buck item and the 300 buck item go under A. Other 3000 buck items go under B. 150 into 3 plus 250, 700 rupees off. That's the best scenario. We're not touching C. We're not touching D. It looked like B and D is a good combo. A and B is a better combo. Then the maximum discount we can get is 700. Gosh.